Well, first of all, welcome to Toronto, both of you, and thank you for this extraordinary film. I absolutely thank loved it. Thank you. And can we talk about how sensational the two of you are? Aw, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even lying. You are both so good. Thank Brooklyn, you. how do you act so mature? Aw, um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, I just try my best to do that and I think if you try your best and you don't do it sloppy you can like do it you can just do it yeah um Bria for you I mean all I have to say is thank god there's Instagram I guess right, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean oh, how cool is that that you you it's I, I unbelievable just no unbelievable. it's like mind-boggling sometimes because you would never think just from a social platform you would be in film festivals and doing all this stuff. And what do you think it was that Sean saw in you that knew that he, that he knew that you'd be able to carry this off? I mean, he always says that he saw somebody just carefree and that in his head I fit the the part. But I still to this day don't know what the exact first video was. So I <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's so cool. Now, Brooklyn, how hard was it for you, or easy, to play someone like Mooney? It was hard, and, well, it was mostly easy, because um, all we did was have fun. Well, that's good. <laughs> um, but at the end, it gets a little intense, so I really had to, um, I really had to um, try to uh, get those lines down, and Actually, um, this is an organization, Hope192.com. Oh, tell me about that. Um, it helps the people who are in need, but they're no different than us. They're people like we are. Yeah. They aren't aliens from space. Well, that's good to hear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so just go to Hope192.com and... And check it out. Yeah, check it out. Because you can, like, change a little girl's life or well, something. Well, that's really important. That's really yes. important. Now, the two of you have obviously worked in Florida together. Um, and what's going on in Florida right now is just devastating. Uh, um, yes. What can you say about working there and, and being in that, in that state? Well, she lives there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, but I, I actually lived in Miami for a year. Um, and I had literally just moved back to New York, and I told my, like I was like, I'm never going to Florida again. And then they called, and they're like, do you want to film in Florida? And I was like, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> but um, it's definitely, I had never been to Orlando area before, um, and it was just really interesting um, to see everything going on, because I was never aware. And it was just really eye-opening to how Sean is shedding light on something that people really need to know about. Right, because it's not Disney World. Exactly, yeah. and it's not that yeah. people don't want to know, it's just that no one's speaking about it, yeah. you know what I mean? So the pe People can go to the happy, the happily, happiest, happiest place on earth. earth. Happiest place on earth, yeah. <laughs> but while they're passing by, going to Disney, they see these kids on the middle of the street trying to draw, draw the Disney castles and the yeah. Disney princesses on a piece of paper yeah. and wishing they can go to Disney and these people just drive past them like they're nothing yeah. but they are something. Absolutely, you're each, absolutely right. Each person, each person who lives in a motel is not is not, like I said, is not different from us. No, absolutely. You shouldn't treat them like a kid who's dirty or something. You should really treat them nice and be able to, you know, just love them and make sure they get, like, make sure they get Christmas toys and, yes. For so, sure. I mean, because at the end of the day, we know that, you know, that you loved your daughter. Like, you would do anything for her to make a better life. And I just, what was it like to work together, the two of you? I love her. <laughs> <laughs> From, like, the first time we met, we just really got along. And um, it wasn't hard to, to just act with her and be around her. It just was so smooth. We just... From the beginning, we're so connected. We were, we hit it off. Girl. You hit it off already. Right. <laughs> How do you cry Bye. so easily? Um, what do you, where do you go? What do you think about? Um, I was thinking about really being in that situation and 
how all these kids have have to either have a choice to either want to run away and try to get victory or have to go and get taken away by their parents. Yeah. They each have they have one choice in life. So that's why you want the parents will like Haley, she wants to take care of her daughter, mm -hmm. but sometimes she just makes the wrong decisions. Yeah, it's hard. It's really, yes. really hard. But you both did such a wonderful job. Thank you. Really, Thank you. I hope people get a lot from this movie because it's so Me too. Um, congratulations to the two of you, and really you. pleasure meeting both of you. Thank, Thank you, you so too. much.